Good morning guys, uh, happy Sunday. Today we're gonna do some, um, a flow for core and then also a twisting flow. I, as always, I apologize for the cat. I will be drinking some coffee as well. But let's get going. All right, so the first pose we're starting off in is half lotus, so bringing our leg up into the crook of our leg, our other leg. And you're supposed to be able to come all the way up from there, but my knees do not allow that. So we're just gonna inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. And switch legs. Two more times. Good. From there, we're going to go Put our hands up and back up. Make sure even though my hands are up that we are keeping our shoulders down. And go ahead and switch legs. having troubles keeping your shoulders back and down shake it out bring your hands up bring them down and then put the hands overhead four deep breaths here and slowly come out of that from here we're gonna go ahead and do Use our legs and do a seated twist. We're going to do four deep breaths here as well, looking over our opposite shoulder. I'm going to go ahead and switch legs. Okay, after your fourth breath, come back and we're going to go straight into camel pose. I'm going to hold it for about five deep breaths here. So camel pose, kind of grabbing our ankles or your feet right about here. And that's ending up here. Two more deep breaths. And slowly come out of camel. From there, we're going to come back into downward dog. Again, make sure your shoulders are back and down. They're not coming too far forward, okay? Five deep breaths here. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're gonna come up into a plank. Five deep breaths here. Make sure I have a better plank than that. And then we're going straight into a side plank. Okay. Six deep breaths. And go ahead and switch sides. You need to modify it by putting one foot down here, that's fine. And go ahead and bring that hand back down. And we're gonna bring our right foot forward on the outside of our right hand. We're coming in for a high lunge. We're gonna hold three deep breaths here before we move into side angle, okay? Okay, side angle, pivot that back foot and bring your arms up like this, okay? Five deep breaths here. Okay, we're gonna straighten that front leg, so our right leg. We're gonna come down into triangle. So arms gonna just go straight up overhead. Remember, keep your shoulders back and down, don't let them come forward. And gaze up at that hand. Five breaths. Okay, from here, we're just going to do a reversed one. So bring that hand down, left hand comes over, right hand goes up. After five deep breaths, go ahead and come back into that um, plank and then go ahead and bring that left foot forward for that high lunge. I'm going to go three deep breaths here. Pivot that right back foot so there we go and then come up for side angle remember keep those shoulders back and down and go ahead and straighten the left leg left hand goes down on that foot Right arm goes up. Five deep breaths. The triangle. Right hand comes down. Left hand goes up. And then both hands come back down, come back down to that high lunge. And we're going to come from that plank to chaturanga, so pull it down. And then go ahead and let your legs touch. We come up into cobra. Okay. 
Okay, so this flow does call for a hand headstand today, um, but I've been working on not using the wall so I don't fall again. Um, so we're just going to start by practicing. Um, each week I'll show a progression or each time how far I've come and so how far you can progress as well. But for today, we're just going to go into mostly a tripod. So we're here. We're going to lift our hips up. Walk our feet in. Okay. So that our hips are stacked over our shoulders. The goal is to eventually be able to bring the knees up to your chest and kind of just sit there. But for today, we're going to kind of stay in this pike position. You want your hips over your shoulders okay hold it for about five breaths or about 20 seconds and then come back down and then we're going to do it one more time until we get that core activation okay go ahead down Knees are bent. We're gonna pop those knees up, those hips up, and then we're gonna walk in till our hips are over our shoulders. Okay. And then slowly come back down. Okay. And then we're going to come into child's pose. Five deep breaths here. As we come out of child's pose, we're going into boat. Okay, so boat pose means we are right about here. We're going to hold it for about um, six deep breaths, okay? And then we're going to immediately transition into boat with wide legs. So it's what you think it is. We're going to grab our instep like happy baby. And if I don't fall over, grab your instep or grab your toes. And we're just sitting in that same position. Okay. But try to widen your legs. After six deep breaths, go ahead and relax down, and then we're going to come into bridge. Okay. You can either do a supported bridge or just a normal bridge, but bring your feet, your heels as close to your butt as you can. We're going to come up. So supported bridge means the hands are kind of helping here. Um, a lot of us shouldn't need that. Um, but in yoga, I like to be able to grab my heels when I'm in bridge, so I know I'm high enough. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes and activating it. Hold it for, we're going to do four sets of five second holds. So relax down a little bit. 
and back up for one, two, three, four, five. Relax a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Relax into just a normal bridge and squeeze up. One, two, three, four, five. Relax a tiny bit. Last one, squeeze up. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna bring our knee to our chest. Six deep breaths here. And go ahead and switch legs. Okay, and then we're gonna end with um, our feet up. We're gonna take about seven deep breaths here. And slowly come up, okay? So that was a little bit of core for you. Um, so now we're going to go into that twisting flow, okay? All right, so we're going to start in... Um, hero pose so kind of just actually we want our butts to the ground heels out to the side about five deep breaths here You are not graceful. Okay, and then we're gonna go into full boat. So the one before was half boat where we were here. The next one is um, full boat. So full boat, boat, full boat means we are here and our arms are straight out. We're gonna hold it for four deep breaths. Better not get on me. <laughs> okay. You ready? No. Hopefully your cat won't get on you and add a little extra weight to your legs. Um, but if she does, or if he does, good luck. Okay. Go ahead and we're going to come back into downward dog. Again. I've been coming with my shoulders here. Bring your shoulders back and down. And weight is in the palms. We'll just go ahead and walk your feet out a little bit. Okay, from here we're going to either step or float in. I'm going to step today. And then inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, 
exhale forward fold and then from forward fold we're going to inhale to an upward salute so all the way up hands overhead and then arms down by our side for mountain pose okay and then we're going to keep our feet together bend our knees come forward into chair but then since this is a twisting flow we're gonna do twisted chair okay remember shoulders back and down gaze over that left shoulder three more deep breaths and we're gonna come back to center and for Three deep breaths here. And then full twist to the right side. And four deep breaths here. Okay. And we're going to come back to the center. Two deep breaths. And forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then we're going to come back into downward dog. Remember, weight in the palms of your hands, shoulders away from the ears. Just go ahead and walk it out. And we're going to start on the left side this time. So pick up for three-legged dog. Just straight up. Do not open your hips this wide. Just kind of come straight up. Bring your left foot on the outside of your left hand. And we're going to come up straight into a revolved extended side angle. Okay. My arms are sweaty. But we're gonna hold it for five deep breaths. Remember, shoulders down. Okay, hands back down from a high lunge. We're gonna come from a plank, press back into downward dog. Three deep breaths. Three-legged dog on the right side. Right foot on the outside of that right hand. And revolve the extended side angle on the right side, okay? Five deep breaths here. Bring that back down and go ahead and come back into downward dog. Okay, from here we're going to step forward to our hands and we're going to um, be doing revolved half moon. This is a balanced one, so be prepared, okay? So, you can keep the left hand on the floor, but we're transitioning to one leg. And gazing over this right shoulder, gazing towards the right hand. Actually, I'm wrong. The left hand, <laughs> right hand is down, left foot, you're gazing up towards that left hand. If you need to take a break because the tight pull on your hamstrings, it's fine. But try to stay up. Okay. 
and then go ahead and switch legs. So my uh, right foot comes forward, left hand's going to stay on the ground as I look over to my right hand. That one is really hard guys, just for warning you, but we're going to come back into downward dog. Go ahead and walk your legs out a little bit. That was kind of a calf burner for me. And we're going to come back, we're going to come down. We're going to sit in child's pose for five deep breaths. I'm going to do wide-legged child's pose. Okay, after your fifth deep breath, we're actually going to come back into that camel pose for five breaths there as well. After your fifth deep breath, go ahead and come down onto your seat and we're going to go through um, Sage's pose, so left leg over my right, arm up, looking over my left shoulder. Five deep breaths here. And go ahead and switch. So right leg over left. And then we're going to come into a wide-legged, wide-angle seated forward. So arms straight out in front of you for five deep breaths here. After your fifth deep breath, go ahead and lie in corpse pose for five deep breaths as well. Just close your eyes while you're in corpse pose and kind of just let the practice run through you. After your sixth deep breath, start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Start to feel the light come back into your calves and forearms, and then up into your shoulders. And feel the light come back into your lungs and your chest, and then finally up into your head as you open your eyes. I really don't need you sitting on me right now. As you open your eyes and come to a seat, and from here, I'm gonna sit tall, reach up to our third eye, lean forward, and say namaste. Good job today, guys. Uh, like I said, I'll be updating uh, progress. Ow, Autumn. On those headstands, uh, you should follow along as well. Um, 
as it starts to get warmer, make sure you're putting on lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. I suffered sunburn and windburn last week. So just make sure you're kind of keeping yourself safe and make sure you're still doing, getting that routine in, doing something to relieve the anxiety and depression that's kind of probably going on right now. And we'll still get through this together. Have a good Sunday.